People who live in an Inglewood neighborhood hit by flooding this week say the woman who got trapped did not have to die. They say the city of Inglewood just isn't doing anything about poor drainage issues. Jackie Cray is live on South Tacoma Street right now where people are mourning a death, the loss of their possessions, and Jackie, they're demanding answers. Yeah, and the damage isn't just on this street. It stretches over several blocks. Residents now having to trash a lot of their belongings. And what hurts, too, some of them tell me they wanted to purchase flood insurance and were told not to because their homes are not located in a floodplain. Oh, my goodness. We're not in a floodplain. You know, there's no creeks or ponds or anything by here that could overflow to make something like this happen. Mike Minnick owns this home on South Tacoma Street. He's cleaning up the mess left behind after water destroyed so much. It's disgustingly messy. He believes it could have been prevented. The water was like coming this yeah. way. It wasn't even coming down the street or going into the drains. He says the drains fail time after time. Several residents tell us the city has done nothing to fix the issue. There's no words for it. The city just ain't helping. Our, our insurance has denied us because they're considering this a flood, even though the streets couldn't handle the water. The flood killed 32 year old Rachel Haber trapped in her friend's basement apartment. And I feel really bad about that. She was just a, a buddy of a friend coming over to feed the cat. There's filled up, there's filled up. A block over, Katie Scott is dealing with the same situation. Her basement level and new bathroom ruined. I called the city of Inglewood yesterday and I said, are you doing something about this? Cause I'm tired of living like this every time. Every, we're so afraid now. We're watching the weather. Losing property, money, and most importantly, a life, has this community wondering how they will recover. I mean, this place flooded and people died. Where do you go from there? I, I don't know. And several homes have had their power cut off. It will remain that way until an inspector can come through. Residents here have no idea when that will be. They say it's really difficult to get a hold of the city. We're having the same issue. We're asking about possible drainage issues and any help that these residents can get. For now, we're getting no comment, but we'll keep you updated. I'm live in Englewood, Jackie Crea, Denver 7. Wow.